For the ground beef filling, I'm going to take one pound of lean ground beef. This is a, an 85 meat to 15% fat ratio meat, and I'm going to season it. I typically like to use fresh ingredients like fresh garlic, some scallions or minced onion, sometimes cilantro, but I want to try something different today. When I normally add fresh ingredients to the ground beef and roll it into the corn tortilla, I notice when I fry it, it pops a lot because of the extra moisture that's releasing from the fresh ingredients. So I know that was long winded. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of beef bouillon powder, one and a half teaspoons of dried minced onion, and one teaspoon of granulated garlic, cracked black pepper, a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon, it's really up to you. And seasoning your ground beef is also up to you. Season how you like. Now I'm going to mix. And once I'm done mixing, I'm going to set this aside until I'm ready to use it. So for the corn tortillas, I'll be using somewhere between 20 to 24, and I warm them in the microwave. What I did was brushed oil on one side, I stacked them on top of each other in the bowl, placed cling film on top, microwaved it for about a minute to a minute and a half until they are soft, warm, and pliable. I'm also going to be using a cornstarch paste. This is just equal parts cornstarch to water, um, give or take. Basically, you want to create this thick paste, and this is going to adhere the, the taquitos or the flautas together. And I'm just going to take some of my ground beef mixture, place it on the end here, and give it a roll. And this one looks like I might have added, I think that's a good amount. It's somewhere between like a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of your ground beef. And then, Take your cornstarch paste, add it to the end, and finish out the roll, and that's it. And you just want to leave this seam side down to allow it to, you know, to keep its shape. I'm going to continue the process until I've done all of my flautas. So here are all of my taquitos or flautas, or rolled tacos, and it is important that you put them seam side down because as they sit, it's a lot easier to fry them in the pan. Now, I know a lot of people like to use toothpicks, but I think this is a bit more convenient. So anyways, do what works for you. But now I'm going to get ready to fry these. Okay, so my fry oil is about um, a third inch to a half inch deep in the fry pan that I'm using. And now that it's preheated to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to place my flautas seam side down. I'm going to cook these until they are a golden brown color and obviously the inside is cooked. It's going to take about five minutes or so for these flautas to cook because remember there is raw meat, but I didn't put a lot in each flauta, so it's not going to take a very long time for it to cook. So somewhere between five to seven minutes. So this is my first meal of the day, and I went ahead and started eating a taquito, and I want to show you how it's cooked all the way through the inside. It does shrink back a little bit, but they are so good. Okay, so all of my flautas are done. Take a look at that. So now what I'm going to do is make a green guacamole salsa to go along with these taquitos today. Okay, for my salsa, I'm going to do a small amount. Feel free to double, triple, quadruple this if you want a larger amount. I have one jalapeno, two cloves of garlic, and a quarter of a small onion. It's just little pieces of onion. I have my griddle preheating, so I'm going to add some of that fry oil onto the griddle. And now I'm going to add my jalapeno, 
my onion, and my garlic. Okay, so my ingredients are sauteed and have a little bit of charring. That's flavor, by the way. <laughs> I'm also going to be adding one small avocado. I'm going to add my onion, garlic, and jalapeno to this. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt's probably an eighth of a teaspoon, and a half teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. Whoops. Yeah, a half teaspoon works. And it really is to your taste. I'm also going to add a little bit of water, maybe a quarter cup. Squeeze of lime juice. It depends how much tang you want in this salsa. I'm also going to add just maybe a half tablespoon, a drizzle of that fry oil. This is going to make this salsa really creamy and emulsified. And this is a creamy green salsa. It's gonna go perfect with these flautas. Okay, so I am going to make a plate and you can top your flautas however you like. Fresh shredded lettuce, tomato, onion. I actually have leftover curtido back there from my pupusa recipe video. Check that out if you want. I'll link it in the description below or somewhere on this video. I have my green guacamole salsa or avocado salsa, whatever you want to call it. I actually have some leftover spicy red salsa. I'm going to go for it and use it. Ladle on my salsa. Now I'm going to add some Mexican crema. right there for him. So I know you guys always like when I take a bite or show you the food, so let's do it. 